Hello and welcome to Finals at the Academy. Complete two fan mission by Larry G. Let's begin. Those who wish to protect the balance through action are drawn to become Keeper Agents. Equal emphasis is given to the physical and the mental in an agent's training. Each agent must undergo a rite of passive requiring superior skill, knowledge, wisdom and character. Elders guiding acolytes along this path need to ensure that prospective agents develop the necessary temperament. Guiding acolytes to the destiny, part six. Agents, the hands of the keepers. I remember it was snowing in the city. Great big sloppy wet flakes that melted almost before they landed. Master Artemis was taking me to the Keeper Academy in Anhara where I would begin my formal training as an acolyte. There was no snow on the ground when we arrived at the academy, but the sky threatened a storm later on that night. The real storm, of course, came years later as I began my final examinations. So normally this, if you download this mission, you won't have that briefing video with it. Um, Larry, as far as I can tell, has not released an updated mission containing the briefing video, but he did post the video to YouTube and linked it from the thread. Um, I apologize if the briefing quality there is not quite what it should be. I had to uh, scrape the uh, video from YouTube and then transcode it and may have not had good settings for the transcode. Anyway, that was a very good briefing video. Much better than listening to me read out from Notepad. So, I guess I'm gonna go, hmm. I mean, I don't know what difficulty settings change, if anything. Pass your final examination at the Keeper Academy. Read the scroll found on the stool in the center of the auditorium stage to get to your assignment. You must not be seen, heard, or otherwise detected by anyone during the examination. You're training to be a keeper agent, not a murderer. You must pull this off this assignment without killing anyone. Alright, um... So the, the readme didn't say anything about what changes with difficulty they can recall, so I'm just going to stick it on hard so I have a, you know, medium level of hit points and see how we go. Obviously we're going to not kill anyone regardless. Let's begin. It's exam time. Garrett, this is your final evaluation of your skill prior to your Delphonic initiation as a keeper. Your task is simple. In the auditorium is a stool, and on that stool is a scroll. Read the scroll and do what it says without being detected and without permanently harming anyone. Pick up your equipment, and good luck. Sword. Seven broadheads. Oh, so a blackjack. And seven broadheads. So we got there. Lockpicks. Compass. Keys. Examination notice. Garrett, please come to the auditorium foyer at 2 o'clock sharp for your final examination as a student. You may bring your sword, blackjack, bow, and no more than seven arrows. Good luck. Is this the auditorium? Alright. Enter the keys for it. What? Uh, 
Um, I haven't even picked up my assignment yet. I thought I was supposed to do the assignment without being seen. Okay. I'm supposed to not be seen from the moment the mission begins. All right. Let's try that again. Gareth, this is your final evaluation of your skill prior to your dynamic initiation as a keeper. Your task is simple. In the auditorium is a stool, and on that stool is a scroll. Read the scroll and do what it says without being detected and without permanently harming anyone. Now pick up your equipment and good luck. Did not expect to be challenged just getting to the auditorium, but fair enough. You, sir, are quite inconvenient. Also, this noisy floor is quite inconvenient. You better not stay there. The Piggins, a play by Yala. Right, do I have a map actually? It's a really good question. So the foyer up to dormitories and classrooms, right. The auditorium is to my left. And uh, I can't read that. Oh, something's alcove. To the necropolis. Oh, we've got a map of the classrooms. And the student and the boarding rooms. The principal floor. Chambers for the Keepers in Residence. It's a very good map. Attic, Storage and Mechanicals. Garage with notations from the books. Red. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen. Twenty-two pages. Oh my god, this exam is... I'm gonna fail already. I just know it. Oh. That's not the way into the auditorium, or at least not the part that I need to be in. This fella's coming back now. Okay, where's the save? Uh... Alright, I'm gonna come down here to get to the stage. Yes, it's a nice freaking go on stage and have nobody see you. Must be pretty fun for the audience. Oh, they're not coming? Coming now. Oh, we can turn the lights off. That will help. Still a spotlight from somewhere. Slow ball potion. Don't mind if I do. I wonder who locks that there in the little nook. That's moss arrows. Oh, hello. I had not noticed this arrows in most of these nooks. Noisemakers and moss. Alright. I guess I'm supposed to be finding this stuff, you know, as, as a test of my general skill. Going to this box. Hmm. 
So where would the spotlights be controlled from? Because I'm not going to be able to get into the... Unless I start knocking people out. And then, you know... It seems crude. Oh, the spotlights are changing. Well, the ones on the audience are changing. I guess they'd be controlled from backstage, right? To wait for them to pass. Not used to the thief to jump size. You know what? Well, they're standing there watching. to open it. Ugh, long noisy staircase. I think this person moves, right? They're the one that goes and walks up and down. No, maybe they're not. Maybe they don't look beside them. Maybe their peripheral vision is terrible. I need to have a better look at you. Hmm. Found. That's not going to be my way so, in. No, my eyes are old and tired. That is all. <laughs> this is funny because it feels like they're just like play they're playing their role. Like they saw me, but I was being as stealthy as a keeper student should be. So they. Kind of pretended they didn't see me. Okay. Alright, since we've got somebody in this box, I think I need to stay at this side. I told them there were dangers. So, it was a rat all along. They can no longer be trusted completely. It's all noisy flooring. So tired. What would it hurt to use the environment glyph for a different purpose than intended? I'm not so sure others haven't done similar things already. Even Elder Cronin, he must be well over 90, but he looks and acts as well. Oh, I should not be so. You're right there. Okay. And wait and see where this keeps going. Well, the point I uh, had to cough. As if we should forget. Show me and how. I am worried about the first keeper. Not enough precaution. Told them that No, my eyes are old and tired. 
that at all. I don't know. Where are you? I'm here. Just being a piece of scenery. I don't know how you saw me or what, but apparently you did. There was a bright patch, which did not seem to be a bright patch, but that's... I guess it happens sometimes. Give up. Already. What I didn't see was any sign of uh, spotlight controls. Which could be a problem. What's this for? Found emanated from over Another. here. Hiding, eh? I know you are here. You I are I will what? Alright, I can see this is gonna be a frustrating mission. Because I have no idea who saw me or how, because I thought I was in the dark. Alright, well, let's try this backstage. Lucky Gabby. I mean, I so, it was just a rat. I shall have the acolyte set traps tomorrow. Huh? I hesitate to call. No, I didn't see anything. I didn't see anything, for there is nothing here to see. My memory. Could knock him out. Ghosting is not required, it's merely uh, convenience. So the other problem is that the person through those curtains could see through the curtains. Um, even though obviously I cannot. So tired. What would it is there something on there? There's, there's something on there. Do I spend a water arrow already? Oh, I've got ten. I thought I got two. Sure, let's. Let's make it safer here. The Pagans are played by Yellow. Constantine. I, the Levy Lord, am come to this land of the bride. Constantine brought the birth of Cadmore's daughter, Semele, midwife by the lightning born fire. My godly form I have given over for a mortal one, and I am here at Dirk's River and Ismenos water. I see the memorial of my mother's thunderbolt nearby, the house and home in ruins, smouldering the still living flame of the builder's fire. Deathless, hammerite violence against my mother. I commend Cadmos for making this ground inviolate, a daughter's precinct, divine, concealing it around in clustering green is my own doing. I left Lydia's gold rich acreage and Phrygia's and Persia's sunblasted flats and Bactria's walls and the hard wintered land of Media. I came upon an happy Araby and all of Asia that by the salt sea lies, its fair citadel cities filled with hammers and pagans, mine and others together mingled. My choruses and rites are now set up there to manifest to mortals my divinity. This city is the first of the Builder's exclusive land I have howled up to, the fawn skin fitted to flesh, the thirst is given to hand, the shaft of ivy, because my mother's siblings of all people claimed that I, the woodsy king, was not God sprung, and that was why the Builder killed her, they contended, because she lied about her union. Therefore, these same folk have I goaded from their house with madness. The mountain is now their home, their minds quite loosened, and made them take up the trappings of my orgies, and all the seed of the Cadmians, each and every one, have I maddened from the house. With Cadmos's children together mingled on the green firs, they sit in roofless rocks. For this city, like it or not, must understand and make amends for Mother Simmel, that I am manifest to mortals the divinity birthed. Now then. Cadmos gives the prerogatives of tyranny to Markander, offspring of his daughter. It is he, Markander, who wages God war on me. From his offerings he thrusts me, in prayers nowhere makes mention of me. And that is why I'll show him I am a god, he and all the Hammerites. When things are settled here, to another land I shall be off and show myself. But if this Hammer City is aroused to arm and try to drive my pagans from the mountain, I'll join the battle as commander. But you, pagans from Mount Molus, my Theaesus, that from foreign lands I brought as cohorts and companions, 
Take up your drums, timbrels, and cymbals, and round the royal house of Markanda come to beat them for all Cadmo's city to see. A pagan. From Asia, from the day spring that uprises, to bring me out seven glorying we came. We laboured for our lord in many guises. We toiled, but the toil is as the prizes. Thou mystery, we hail thee by thy name. Another pagan. Who lingers in the road? Who espies us? We shall hide him in his house, nor be bold. Let the heart keep silence that defies us. For I sing this day to leafy chaos, the song that is appointed from an old. All the pagans, of course. O oh, blessed is he in all wise who hath drunk the living fountain, whose life no folly staineth, and his soul is near to God, whose sins are lifted, Paul wise, as he worships on the mountain, and where Sibel ordaineth our mother he has trod. His head with thy he laden, and his thirst is tossing high, for a God he lifts his cry up, O pagan son and maiden, come, O ye pagan, come, O bring the joy bestower, God seed of God the sower, bring gil sweet in his powers from Phrygia's mountain dome to street and town and tower, O bring ye Jacksbury home, whom erst in anguish lying for an unborn life's desire, as a dead thing in the thunder his mother cast to earth, for her heart was dying, dying in the white heart of the fire. Then a horned god was found, and a god of serpents crowned, and for that a serpent's wound in the ones his maidens bear, and the songs of serpents sound in the mazes of their hair. Some pagans, a portion of the chorus. All hail, O city, thou nurse of Samela, with Samela's wild ivy crown thy towers. O oh, burst in bloom of wreathing briony, berries and leaves and flowers. Uplift the dark divine wand, the oak wand and the pine wand, and don thy fawn skin, fringed in purity with fleecy white, like ours. O oh, cleanse thee in the one's waving pride. Yea, all men shall dance with us and pray, when Gilsweet his company shall guide hillward, ever hillward, where they stay, the flock of the believing, the folk of forge a cleaving, by the magic of his breath borne away. Other pagans, another portion of the chorus. Hail thou, O nurse of worms, O cavern haunt, where fierce arms clang to guard God's cradle rare. For thee of old crested Corybantes first woke in Cretan air, the wild orb of our orgies, the timbrel, and thy gorges rang with the strain, and blended Phrygian chant and sweet keen pipes were there. But the timbrel, the timbrel was another's, and away to Mother Rhea it must wend, and to our holy singing from the mothers the mad satyrs carried it to blend, in the dancing and the cheer of our final perfect year, and it serves the Jacksbury in the end. A pagan. O oh, glad, glad on the mountains, to swoon in the race outworn, when the holy fawn skin clings and all else sweeps away, to the joy of the red quick fountains, the blood of the hill goat torn, the glory of wild beast ravenings, where the hilltops catch the day, to the Phrygian Lydian mountains, tis harvester leads the way. Another pagan. Then streams the earth with milk, yea, streams with wine and nectar of the bee, and through the air dim perfume steams of Syrian frankincense, and he, our leader, from his thyrsus spray a torchlight tosses high and higher, the torchlight like a beacon fire, to waken all that faint and stray, and sets them leaping as he sings, his tresses rippling to the sky, and deep beneath the pagan cry his proud voice rings, Come, O oh ye woodsies, come! All the pagans. Hither, O fragrant of Tumulus the Golden, come with the voice of timbrel and drum. Let the cry of your joy uplift and embolden the god of the joy cry. O woodsies, come, with pealing of pipes and with Phrygian clamours, on where the vision of holiness thrills, and the music climbs in the maddening glamour with the wild white ones to the hills, to the hills. O then, like a colt as he runs by a river, a colt by his dam, when the heart of him sings, with the keen limbs drawn and the fleet foot a quiver, away the rites of chaos springs. Tiresias, an ancient keeper. Anybody at the gates? Call Cadmos from the house, Agenor's son, who left the town of Sidon and citadel in the city of Hamas. Somebody go tell him Tiresias wants him. He knows why I've come. We arranged it, an old man and his elder, to tie the thyrsus up, to put on pelts of fawns, to garland our hearts with ivy shoots. Cadmos, an ancient hammerite. My dear friend, I knew it was your voice I heard inside. Wise and from a wise man, I've come prepared with these trappings of the god. 
We must glorify him with all our power. He is the child of my own daughter. Where must we chorus? Where set our feet and shake our heads of grey? You declare to me, old man to old man, Tiresias, for you are wise. How may I, without wearying neither night nor day, with Thyrsus club the earth? It is a joy to forget that we are old. Tiresias, you feel just as I do then. I too grow young and will attempt the chorus. Cadmus, can't we take carriages to cross into the mountains? Tiresias, no, no, the gods' honour would not be the same. Cadmus, old man to old man, shall I nurse you along? Tiresias, the god will guide us both there effortlessly. Cadmus, we alone of the city will chorus the leafy one. Tiresias, we alone think well, the others ill. Cadmus, long the delaying, come, take my hand. Tiresias, here, conjoin and couple our hands. I am who mortal do not think light of gods. We use no sophistry on the divine ones. Our father's legacies, which we acquired as our age mates in time, talk cannot confute them. The wisdom may be found by sharpest thought. Someone will say I show old age no shame, readying to chorus, ivying my head. The god himself does not discriminate, that the young must chorus him, or else the elder. By everyone he wishes to be honoured in common, not glorified in sections. Since you, Tiresias, do not see this light, I shall turn prophet of words for you. Here's Mark Ender making his way home in haste, Echion's son, to whom I granted the land's rule, and who has risen high in the builder's eyes. He is so disturbed, what strange things will he say? Mark Ender, an ancient Hamorite high priest. I was away, as it happened, out of the country, but still I heard strange evils of the city, of people gone, abandoning their homes, pretending to be pagans, massing in the bushy mountains. This latest false divinity, Constantine, whoever he is, honouring and chorusing, filling and setting amidst the Thyssus wine balls, and one by one in solitude sneaking off to cater to sexual bidding, supposedly in consensual worship, but the builder ranks before their horned and honeyed lyre. Well then, the ones I have caught with fettered hands are kept attended under the public roof. The ones still missing, I'll hunt them from the mountains and fit them out in netting made of iron. I'll stop this damned harvest soon enough. They tell me that some stranger has arrived, a trickster, a charmer from the Lydian land, with tawny clusters of perfumed hair and wine-dark graces in his eyes, who spends his days and nights consorting and extending his unnatural mysteries to faithful hammerites. If I can just catch him under this roof, I'll stop his banging thyrsus, his bouncing hair, I'll separate his shoulders from his neck. The child who burned by the lightning torch with his mother, he says that child was Constantine, a god. Now doesn't this deserve a dreadful hanging, violence on violence, whoever the stranger is? And here's another wonder, the soothsayer Tiresias in dappled doeskin I see, and my mother's father, utterly ridiculous with a wand, dancing. I refuse, grandsire, to see your old age so devoid of reason. Won't you wave off your ivy? Won't you free your hand and let go of the Thyrsus, father of my mother? This is your persuading, Tiresias. You want to import this supposed divinity to men to make more money watching flights and fire signs. Your grey old age protects you. Otherwise, you'd be sitting in fetters amidst the pagans. I tell you, when you taste the hammer's refreshment at the woodsy banquets, there's nothing sweet left to say about their orgies. Exeunt omnes. Ah. Ah. I need some water after that. Bear with me. Ugh. Was that worth a water arrow? Of course. Also, let's quick save so I don't have to read that again. Where are you? I may be old. Oh! <laughs> Thunderclap! And it makes everyone suspicious. I might have to load that one if they come and find me. Oh, so 
Where are you? Oh, wow. Apparently that counts as me being discovered. I don't quite understand that, but okay, let's not rob that. That's questionable, questionable design to have an insta-fail item that's not insta-fail, it's like a delayed 20-30 seconds failure. I don't... seen doing that. Okay. Well, I don't have an invisibility potion, I've got a slow fall potion. I couldn't find any controls for spotlights. I might just have to knock these people out, just to save myself the hassle of trying to ghost, because I am losing patience of being... I mean, it's a test, isn't it? I'm failing the test. Let's see if I can pass this first test, right? is can I make it to the far side of the stage without being detected because if I can I may be better off what if anything did I hear yeah not then boil of rope This too. The noises have not ceased. Over here. Another. Oh, this, I is, you are there. this is the rain Why sound generator. It's a barrel full of sand. <laughs> oh, we make sound of it. So I'm, I'm now quick saving before trying to prop anything just in case, but yes. I might save my water arrows. I don't know how generous the mission is going to be with equipment. Someone is making that noise. But okay. who? They hear me run? I was mistaken. Hmm. It's a coil of rope for rope arrow, but that doesn't let me make a rope arrow in itself. How am I going to get this notice? Because apparently just running it and grabbing it is not good enough. Huh? Yeah, I get seen doing that, apparently. I'm not sure who sees me, because I don't hear any... anyone saying that they've heard me. I'm very vague about this... detection. Load that right away because it was a failed attempt because it's left my keys, so I was dropping keys on the thing. Hmm.
I have a feeling it's a person up in the uh, the box that's hearing me. They're seeing me. I'm not really sure how to deal with them. Although, I guess if I go back to the far end of the stage, which is an awkward thing to do. Oh wow, they're coughing their face off. They really. You're copying that much, ma'am. You really should go home. Oh, these guys' timing is bothering me. Twitchy. So I was thinking is I could use a noisemaker maybe to send them looking the other way. I don't know if that's going to alert everybody. saw me but I failed anyway because nobody said hey it's Garrett or anything that I could tell so I'm just just oh they're sitting down they're not even they're not even going to search this time yeah you just walk up behind me okay so that's not gonna work Let's go back up the stairs here. Slowly, and then we get around to the box and we can... You know what? Fuck these keepers. <sighs> Clara. Sleep. If I have to suffer headaches... ...of, of stealth, then you guys can suffer headaches of a more traditional kind. Hmm? Well, Seth, you get to sleep there. <clears throat> to change costume for you, they never know it was me. You think it was some actor trampling up on the stage, performing. I have absolutely no idea how you're supposed to uh, do this stealthily. Oh, although... Hmm. I actually do have an idea. Where was my quick, load, quick save? Okay, yeah. Okay, I was just wondering if uh, maybe we could put out the electric lights. I okay. With a water arrow, it was. Henry. Okay. Well, Clara, we can actually leave it, leave awake, right? Clara is not causing us problems. Uh, you know, exam time is running out, so what? I seem they're, they're alerting based on my footsteps on what as well, which I'm not entirely pleased by. Take that to 
No. That goes off by me walking into it. Well, it's dramatic, but maybe maybe it didn't, nobody actually got spooked by it. So, I guess that's good. Clara, I have a lot of stairs on tile floor to walk up. I, tr I hope you understand. But, uh... It'll be easier if I can do it without you there. Listening for my every move. He will use the shadows indeed, yes. Keep of Wands? What does a Keep of Wands do? Time to take an active hand. Uh. I don't know what a Keep of Wands does. Uh. Talia, uh. you fell asleep in, because the play was just so boring. Alright, this one, this, this one, all that, you know, they were on guard, they saw nothing. Does something, but I have no idea what. It's a tool for use. I, mean, I guess them walking by could maybe see me as well. So I should wait till they have passed. Congratulations, Garrett. By successfully retrieving and reading this scroll undetected, <coughs> quick saves, quick loads, uh, notwithstanding, you have demonstrated that you're ready for the final testing prior to your Delphenic initiation. This, your last assignment, is to find Olm's Grimoria Necromantica, where we have hidden it in the Academy building. Open it and copy out the table of contents. In order to pass this test, you may not be seen by anyone before you return here with the copied information. Good luck. You like the scroll texture. Okay, return here with the copied information, okay. Find and read the Grimoria Necromantica. Alright, so... I'm just going to drop that there. And the examination notice too. I'm gonna keep my inventory. I keep my inventory under control. Okay, so so this Olm's alcove, right? So do we need to go to the dormitories and classrooms, or I mean, Olm's? Surely Olm keeps his his necromantia, uh, 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 whatever it is, Grimoria necromantica in his alcove, right? But maybe the whole point there is that we can't get in there without a key. Did you just say find Garrett and eliminate? You're only supposed to be uh Yeah, we're definitely not gonna need to keep that. I mean unless you just mean eliminate from, you know, the list of candidates for uh Graduation, I mean, I guess. 
I guess that's a reasonable... I hope that's all you mean. If you actually want to kill me, that's more problematic. Okay. I still don't know what keys I've got. It's just garage keys with a number one next to it. Oh, I see. This is open now. Hello, is a notice? No, we don't want to flush the toilet. Oh. Well, we may open the toilet, okay. It was, um, not a notice pinned to the wall. It was toilet paper, of course. I would read it, but, um, it's more interesting than the play, after all. Okay, where am I? Where are we? Oh, there's another bathroom to check out first. Well, we could get more. I don't know if we need it. Somebody upstairs. Oh, they almost saw us. All right, where are we? Let's check them out. Hmm, I don't know which stairs we come up. Let's... I wonder if anybody comes in here. Seem like a janitor's room. Okay. Ah, there's another door. Maybe somebody comes in here. Right, so that's to the old story. Oh, this is another closet. Okay. What is that? I don't know, but uh, we have more water arrows. Out oh, light. To be repaired. One. Replace light switches on dorm floor. Need to pick up a couple of boxes of switches at Weber and Jones. 2. Washing machine motor is hard starting. New motor back ordered, now to be delivered 5.13. Scriptorium clock. Timing mechanism needs adjustment. Again? It's pretty, but it doesn't keep the time. First fast, then slow. Makes no sense. 4. Stage lights need adjusting for that pagan play. 5. Display case for armillary spear in special collections room. Okay. That didn't give me any notes to that, no. Alright. Let's leave our tissue sheets here. Oh, what's that? Brass padlock. So. Do we actually have a notes page of our own? Not really. So let's just carefully write here. Tissue. 
brass padlock. Tissue comma. Which one am I going? I have no idea. Yeah, Alright, I can get to my room. Second left. I see. Go east and then it's the second left. Yeah, there's somebody there. Never, never, never. Fox having urinated into the s what? That keeps changing. Where's my keys? Here. Yep. More broadheads. Boone's the biggest bird. Hmm. I'm not gonna read everything. There's so much. Question, who is the crowned king of the dead and what does he want? Response, Rupert of Anhara led a rebellion against Olm the Necromancer. After many long months and costly battles, the rebellion was put down and Rupert captured. To discourage future rebellions, Olm boiled Rupert alive in a vat of lye and then chopped off his head. Olm next took the crown off his own head, nailed it to Rupert's gleaming skull and cursed Rupert's ghost to leave the defense of Anhara's heart until the crown is freed from Rupert's skull. Instruction. Holy, holy, holy. As a well-aimed arrow flies to its target, you strike out the evil of the past. Holy, holy, holy. Optional, free Rupert from Olm's Curse. Who is Rupert? Which... Oh, I see, it's one note per page. That's why there's 22 pages. Okay. So, sounds like three water, three holy water arrows. We'll uh, deal with Rupert if we find Rupert. Okay. A quill. Question: What is the keeper's eye? Response: It says it's Aisha's endless stairs. The uninstructed and unprepared will strive forever in their attempt to climb their stairs, yet never succeed. But to those who walk with the Keeper's eye, reaching the top takes but a minute. And thus, even the simplest accomplishment is thought to be impossible by the ignorant, when it is just a matter of proper preparation. Planning, study, training, information and equipment, all are elements of the Keeper's eye. Instruction. New paths will open to the Keeper's eye. So that one's also noted down somewhere here. I should be sure to have everything I need, might need, before I attempt those stairs. Yes. Okay, we've got a quill in here, which I don't know if we need. What else have we been studying? Question, who was the Quiet Keeper and how did he die? Response, Keeper Gibraith was called the Quiet Keeper due to his reluctance to speak without first thinking through all of the possible consequences from his words. He died when, pursued by Ulm the Necromancer, he reached Dillman's portal, beyond which ancient horrible sorceries and dooms unknown were reputed to reside. His fears of what might be beyond the portal froze him with indecision. Should he go forward or turn back? He couldn't decide. And so he was found there by Ulm and killed. Instruction. Go forward unto the unknown rather than await a certain death where you are. Hmm. And an 
empty closet. And three different downloads. I mean, should I... Single bullseye. Had to be right up close. Okay. We have a quill here. I'm noting this down, right? The readme mentioned there's lots of items, uh, some of which are important. For things and others of which are entirely unimportant. God, we got these people running around again. I don't even know what I'm trying to get to. This is a problem. Find and read the Grimoria Necromantica. Yes, but... We need to get to Orm's Annex. But how? Well, maybe we don't. Uh, I don't really have any kind of sense of where I'm supposed to go, so I guess I guess I try to go everywhere. It's quite a din. What's your problem? I don't think it's any sound is gone. Now sound? Hello, I found someone. Did someone look like for me? He doesn't belong. Here I am. I what? Alright, I'm gonna be doing a lot of knocking out because having just this density of make sure I've read all these. Yes, do I have the quill marked? Yes, okay. There's just like an enormous Perfect gem of other students just coming and going here, and I think they're going to be piled up in my closet once I get a chance to get behind them. I can't even just peek out my doorway without being spotted. It's ridiculous. It's just completely ridiculous. It's just not. going different directions as well. Wait, are they going to the janitors? Or are they going upstairs? Oh, there's somebody else coming? Wow, there's people coming and going everywhere. to hear people coming that way. <sighs> people coming and going randomly like that is going to be near impossible to, to get around. I don't want to leave me in my room, right? That's that would that would reveal who it was, knock them all out. Okay, what room is this? It's a classroom. Oh, 
Them plaguey pagans. An old woman who lived near the edge of the city during the hemorrhage of pagan wars had possessed a marvellous propensity for learning the news and frequently used to make inquiries of any passing guards. Now, on one occasion she called to a guard named Boone, whom she had frequently so saluted before. What's the news on the pagan front? she asked. Boone, who had grown a little tired of her and her questions, decided to try and teach her a lesson. Why, said he, the pagans have fixed a great crowbar underneath the bay and plan to lift it up and flood the city. Oh dear, oh dear, what shall I do, she cried. Away she ran to tell her Hammerite priest about the danger and inquire how this terrible calamity could be avoided. Why, says he, you need not be alarmed. The builder has promised that he would never suffer the city to be flooded. I know that, the woman replied hastily, but the builder has nothing at all to do with it. It's them plaguey pagans. They's the ones what has the crowbars. Hmm. Blackboard eraser. There's another one there as well. Which I... That one I can't pick up, this one I can. Yeah. I'll leave it on the desk, yes. Unless I mean, is that more of the play? No, it looks like this is actually the same. Good, good. I'm not reading that again. What have we got here? Somebody heard something. A brief, precise, and accurate history of the Delphonic Order of Keepers, its training academy, and environs. Included within the story of the founding of the Keeper Academy. A listing of academy headmasters to date, and also of significant graduates who have done honour to this institution through their accomplishments and awards. The relationship between the Anharan precursor civilization and the ancient and honourable Delphanic Order of Keepers is touched upon, especially with respect to the infamous necromancer Olm and his Anharan necropolis. So this can be long. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Uh... One. <clears throat> An anecdotal history of the ancient and honourable Delphonic Order of Keepers as it has been passed down to the present day. The Dream. The night of the day that Master Keeper Asher was made hierophant and given custody of the Sapient Stone, he had an unusually vivid dream unlike any he had dreamed before. In his dream he saw a dead grey hillside near the confluence of three great rivers. One river was deep blue, cold and clear, the second was slow and thick, red-brown with upstream silt. In the sweltering haze of a summer sunset it seemed to Asher to be marbled with dry blood. The third river was fast and wild, rapids broke the surface like jagged teeth laced with foam. Where the three rivers came together, Asher could see each colour struggle, one against another, in long wavery streams, each river striving to retain its independent identity. First the wild white mixed in and disappeared, then slowly the red silt stream thinned and sank to the bottom, leaving the deep blue, now thicker and warmer, to widen and disperse alone into a salty, fetid marshland. As Asher gazed upon that grey dream landscape, the hilltide played away, revealing a stark necropolis skeleton beneath the pastoral skin. A maze of pointed corridors emptied into a huge octagonal cavern, roof hidden in a swirl of mist. The earth shook and Asher heard a scream of rage and pain as the hill recovered itself with black earth. And on that black earth, the thick woodland grew up the hillside, where at the summit Asher saw an academy for keepers, young and old, man and woman, commingled, studying, writing, and teaching to preserve the world's balance. The decision. Asher awoke that morning and forgot about the dream as he went about his new duties as Hierophant, but when he went to bed that night, the dream repeated. Again, when he awoke in the morning, he was soon caught up in all the day-to-day -day demands of the Hierophant's time. And so it went for seven days and seven nights. On the morning after the seventh night, Asher spoke to the sapient stone, saying, If you would have me go there, then there I must go. And he put on his travelling clothes, left a notary's assistant, stored the sapient stone in his belt pouch, and left. Wandering in the wilderness. Let it be said that Master Asher encountered eight difficulties. Floods, hunger, monsters, highwaymen, storms of hail and fire, traps, wastelands, and boils. Each with the assistance of the sapient stone he overcame, following the eight rules of civilization as he had been taught to do. Naming of the Order. 
and after seven months and seven days he arrived at the confluence of the three rivers. When Asher first saw the three rivers in the true world, he wept three tears. As his tears joined with the rivers, he resolved to name his future order and teaching and academy after those three rivers. The red river was called the Anak in the local dialect, which means reason or intellect. The white river was called the Far or emotion, and the deep blue river, whose name means tranquility, was called the Del. And so the name of the Del Far Anak order of keepers came to be. The founding of the academy. Asher sent back to the city for young and able keepers to assist in the establishment of a new keeper outpost. As he waited for their arrival, and with the help of the sapient stone, Asher staked out the site. Soon, the keepers sent from the city arrived, and they got to work clearing the site. While digging the foundation for the main academy building, an entrance to the ruins of a precursor civilization was uncovered. Building of the Endless Stairs Asher spent week after week exploring these ruins. In his explorations, he discovered an ancient auditorium connected to a necropolis, just like he had seen in his dream. After the necropolis, he found the personal quarters for the necromage high priest and his family. When Asher discovered the Grimoria Necromantica in his sacrificial chamber beneath the necropolis, he knew that the book would be extremely dangerous in the wrong hands, so he moved it to a magically protected location where it would be safe from evil influences. The skeletal remains of the ancient sacrifice he left untouched in that chamber. Beyond the necromantic quarters, Asher found a huge cavern, also as he had seen in his dream. When he saw that cavern, he knew what the initiation ritual for the Delphar Anic Order of Keepers was to be. Asher decided to incorporate the ruins into his plans. In the centre of the large cavern, he built a tower to test each Keeper candidate's wisdom, knowledge, and strength. This tower became known as Asher's Endless Stairs. Of Anhara Old Man the Necropolis the precursor civilization whose ruins Asher discovered was called Anhara, and the academy buildings were nestled into the Anharan hills above the Anakdil and Far rivers. These rivers form the axes of one of the most feared of ancient civilizations. The Anharans were a death-worshipping culture ruled by a high priest king. The Anharan civilization reached its peak under the firm hand of the necromancer Olm, who built up an empire from conquered peoples. Olm used his knowledge of death magic to dominate the region, demanding annual tributes from subject nations. Those who chose the resistance to the paid tribute were utterly destroyed by Olm's armies of the dead. The Anharan civilization declined sharply after Olm's reign ended. His successors just did not have the skills or temperament necessary to hold the Anharan Empire together. They seemed content to rule based on the Anharan reputation for ruthlessness, without the knowledge, strength, or wisdom to back up that reputation with the action. Within two generations, the Anharan Empire had collapsed. Soon both its high arts and horrors had faded into the distorted myth. 2. A listing of the Academy Headmasters for Delphanic Order of Keepers in order of their appointments. Asher, Stahl, Talia, Cassandra, Cronin, Draco, Marcus, Dunkeros, Mayor, Balak, Reigns, Osteria, Gravis, Coleman. Most significant academy graduates of note from the ancient and honourable Delphanic Order of Keepers listed in alphabetical order. Andrus, Third Keeper. Barad, Elder and Chief Historian. Beryl, Elder. Brendan, Third Keeper. Kello, Second Keeper. Dover, First Keeper. Fane, Second Keeper. Gadwell, Interpreter. Granger, First Keeper. Gravis, Hierophant. Holdvast, Third Keeper. Isol, Second Keeper. Lucas, Hierophant. Marius, Master of Scribes. Reigns, Keeper Academy Headmaster. Ruhan, First Keeper. Soledad, Third Keeper. Talia, Keeper Academy Headmaster. Yanis, Interpreter. Sakairo Yumbis Ex Libris. Right. Yeah, so this, like. Another Black Water Racer, okay. Probably not going to need another one, but let's mark it on here anyway. It's kind of strange that there's a Blackboard Eraser in the model, but it's not. There's a separate one that's the one you can pick up if you have, if you need it. I don't know if you need it. Many of the items are not needed. Right, I'm reluctant to knock these people out. Because some of these people are opening doors with keys, and it may be that I will need the keys. Um, but I hear I'm going to end the episode and I desperately need more water after all that reading. So, uh, thanks for watching and, uh, see you soon for the next episode.